Hi, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to migrate a virtual machine running on Azure to Hyper-V. I have here three virtual machines in my Azure cloud. I'm going to migrate this one called Web Server. This Azure Cloud VM is live and publicly accessible. It has a live IP and DNS going to it and is currently in use. I'm going to copy this IP address and I'm going to put it into a new browser window just to demonstrate that it is in fact live. You can see we got a not secure connection and we have the website. I have the content management system in lockdown mode at the moment but if I want to do a if I wanted to get a backup or a copy of said machine in Azure, you typically would shut it down. But another way is to take a snapshot of the virtual machine. So we'll go to this, select our disk, and then we'll create a snapshot. So I'm going to create a snapshot. I'm going to give it a name. I usually go year, month, day, VM name. It's easier for myself to find and know what it is. I'm going to select a resource group. And then I'm going to select an account type. And then I'm going to hit create. So it's creating the snapshot. It'll take a few minutes for it to create the snapshot. The reason why we're doing a snapshot is because if you go export disk, you need to export the disk while the VM is deallocated and unattached and that typically means that the machine is off. So I'm going to click on my successfully created snapshot and now I'm going to export the snapshot. I'm going to generate the URL and then I'm going to download it and import it into my well reset up the disk on my local Hyper-V machine. So we're going to download the VHD file. And we want to keep this because if we lose our internet connection or anything like that, uh, we want to be able to go back and get our uh, VHD. So it'll it's going to download now and it'll be a few hours and we'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, so we've downloaded our VHD. You can see here ABCD. I'm going to rename this to web server because that's what it was. And now in Hyper-V, I'm going to create a new VM because we have nothing to import for configuration or anything. So. We already need to know about our virtual machine. So we know it's a generation one because it's a VHD file. We're going to assign it two gigs of RAM. We'll make it dynamic memory. And we're going to go network, got our web server. And here, instead of creating a new disk, I want to use an existing virtual disk. I'm going to go where it is. Select it. So we've now loaded our virtual machine from Azure. We'll just go over the settings here. I'm going to set it to, I'm going to set this to two processors, even though it's fine at one. I have a startup RAM size of two gig. I'm just going to leave it there for the minimum. I'm going to give maximum four. And I got two virtual processors. I can check that. If I'm going to migrate it to another machine at some point, here's my hard drive. And it's connected to my network. Integration services. I don't have guest services. I could check that. Names web server. And everything's ready to go. So we're going to connect 
and then we're going to start it up and keep in mind this is a generation one vhd and that's what azure uses so when you're doing a download and you're going to set this back up on hyper-v you have to make sure that you're going to use a gen one and you can see here here's our startup here we go now we got our login prompt Log in. So I have an IP address and let's have a look. So if you'll recall, our website was down for maintenance and you can see our SSL certs, uh, a little messed up from uh, moving our host but the site is working we plugged in the IP came up what more can we really ask for hope you found this tutorial useful